Hey there, thanks for tuning in. Um, I'm Josh from the Redneck Homestead channel and today I wanted to share with you guys um, the unboxing of our new little toy. It's the Central Machinery Harbor Freight Sawmill and um, came in this crate here, about seven feet long, almost three feet tall and maybe, I don't know, two feet wide. And this decision to buy this Harbor Freight Sawmill um, was after lots of deliberation Originally, I bought the Texas Bend plans. I'm going to share the link to those plans on eBay and a link to Texas Bend sawmill, custom sawmill that he built. I was going to build that sawmill, and I may very well still build it, but I was confronted with the reality that I have so many projects going right now that I would likely start that sawmill, and by the time I actually got it finished, I wouldn't need it anymore. And I need a sawmill now. I have a lot of um, a lot of trees that we've been dropping and I'd like to convert those trees to lumber um, as soon as possible to make that, that uh, lumber useful. And this sawmill here is, is so reasonably priced. I mean, I, you know, it is, it is made in China. As it says, it says it proudly right on the, on the uh, crate right here. But, um, and I'm not necessarily proud of that, but there's no way that I could build a sawmill, a functional sawmill for what I paid for this thing. They retail for, I don't know, $2,500 and it was on sale for considerably less than that. So it just made sense. I mean, it comes with the engine. It comes with, I don't know how many feet of track, but enough to cut, I think it's maybe 11 or 12 feet of track, enough to cut like a 10 foot um, log, seven, seven or eight horsepower engine and um, everything you need. It's all, it's all in one big crate here, it's 750 pounds. And um, we're gonna unbox this thing and See what's inside the case. It's a little green monster that I expected. There's the saw carriage right there. Looks like there's a bunch of lengths of angle iron here for the track, and I wonder what's inside this box. These are probably the cross members for the track assembly. I mean, every, every review that I've seen of this saw says that it is so much more than they ever would have expected from a saw at this price point. And I'm, I'm very much looking forward to using this and cutting up some lumber. And what I expect this to do for me is teach me a lot about what I don't like about sawmills. And um, I will probably, more than likely, be making modifications to this mill um, to suit my needs and we'll see I'm gonna take you along for the ride um, after we get this thing assembled I'll take you along to um, to see how it works all right so this is basically uh, what we've unboxed here this is basically everything with the exception of the saw carriage which is still in the crate um, I gotta tell you I'm like really really impressed with the quality um, of the material so far Obviously, we haven't really put it all together yet, but from a raw material standpoint, everything is much beefier, much um, denser, and much higher quality than I ever would have expected. Um, that's what the reviews that I've seen online from other people who have a similar or the same mill have reported, and that's what I have to report. The track material is angle iron that is four inch by two inch, sorry, two and a half inch, by 3 sixteenths. No, no, it's quarter. And um, I think we're going to start combing through these directions. I have seen reports online these directions are probably the worst directions that anyone has ever seen, but um, it doesn't seem very complicated. We should be able to just put this thing together. We'll see how long it takes. So for the initial part of the assembly, we're assembling the track. The two links of track here. Uh, this isn't the trailer that this is going to live on permanently. We have another trailer that is just not quite ready for the mill. We're also going to get some additional lengths of angle iron and we're going to fabricate some more cross members so that we can have a longer track. I want to be able to cut uh, very lengthy timbers. tightened up. Well it looks like it's fully assembled but it's not quite yet. We do have 
the saw head mounted to the track frame, or excuse me, the track rollers, which are currently sitting on the assembled track. And now we're working on getting the raising and lowering adjustment system in place. When we put this top frame assembly on, it's not even tightened down yet, but it really added a lot of rigidity to the whole assembly here. Looks like my little helper's coming over. Wanna go work on the sawmill and cut some wood? Wanna go see what daddy's doing on the trailer? We're getting pretty close with this thing, honey. Hi. All right, you got your wrench. You gonna help Rob with your wrench? You gonna help build the sawmill? All right, now we're just filling up the engine with motor oil and gasoline and we'll start this thing up. All right, I think we're all ready to go here. We have a full tank of gas, oil reservoirs full, fire trucks going by. We're going to switch the uh, motor to on, make sure the fuel is on, in the start position. And let's see, this thing has never been started. Let's see what happens. Okay, I made a bit of a silly mistake. We filled the oil reservoir to the proper specified amount of oil, but the trailer that we have built it on is on a slight incline, so it was evidently tripping the low oil sensor and preventing the engine from starting. So um, we put a touch more oil in there and one pull, it started just fine. Take a look. in a while is think. <laughs> That's uh, advice to myself actually. Well there it is, my new central machinery bandsaw mill from Harbor Freight. Probably the best deal for a sawmill that I've ever seen. Came in a crate that we showed you early on. We had the whole thing assembled and running in just over an hour. Now we just gotta go find some logs. In fact, we're going to head over to another property right now where we're clearing some trees and we're going to grab a log. Well, we've had the sawmill running for a total of about 15 minutes and, you know, I'm certainly no expert at producing lumber, but I'm starting to get the hang of it anyways. These are a couple of boards or pieces of a couple of boards that we cut out of a couple of logs that we pulled off of the property that we're clearing in the next couple of towns over. I realize it's a brand new blade and so the finish is going to be a little smoother than normal, but it's very, very impressive. Um, for the money, I, I can't imagine finding or building a sawmill 
anywhere near the amount of money that Harbor Freight's charging. I'm very, very impressed. Of course, it's not a professional mill. I can't expect to be producing millions of board feet of lumber. But for my purposes, producing um, rough lumber to build a cabin, a camp, a deck, a house, an outhouse, um, siding for, for various structures, this sawmill is going to be the ticket. This is going to be great. I highly recommend it so far. We'll keep you posted. I do already, already have a few ideas for some modifications that we're going to be making to the mill to make it that much better. And I'm sure that I'll have um, some more ideas as I continue to use it a little bit. Um, I think that's just about it. If you enjoyed this video, I'd appreciate it if you give us a thumbs up. That enables us to help understand what kind of, a co a kind of content you're looking for. And of course, we'd love to have you subscribe to the channel. Thanks very much.